Do you need to prepare your professional resume? Do you want to get it done today without starting from scratch? In this video today, I'm going to give you a proven resume template and I'm going to give you five golden rules that will ensure that you get to the tables that you're intending to. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. And also while you're there, hit that bell so that you're notified each time that I release a new video to help you land a job and move up in your career once you're on the inside. Hi, my name is Ryan Stoltzfus. I lead a global career development teaching program in a Fortune 500 company. I also run the Job Hackers Network where I help hundreds of professionals in their job search. My clients use this resume template to sell themselves effectively for six-figure roles and get to the table consistently with key hiring decision makers. Just last week, one of my clients used these key principles to secure a job while switching industries and secure a 200% pay increase. Step one is going to be to start off with a professional structure. In that professional structure, you're going to want to highlight five things. Starting off with your contact information up top, moving into your career profile, then your career highlights, the next component to talk about your professional experience, then your education, then your peripherals, the other things. Okay, so let's dive a little bit more deeply into those. In the contact information, uh, a recent study actually showed that when you include your LinkedIn profile information, you have a much higher probability of getting to an interview. It's inter interesting, right? But this, this study actually looked at 125,000 different resumes and the outcomes and showed also that only 48% of those resumes had a LinkedIn profile on their resume. So do add that into your contact information and it is on the template. As you move down into the next section, just under the contact information, you want to start selling yourself and setting the stage really effectively with a career profile. This gives you the opportunity to highlight the most important parts, the things that you want to tee up on a platter for that recruiter, for that ATS system, hopefully for the hiring manager that you're actually getting access to. But what is it that you want to leave behind for them? If they only read that part, they're going to start with this key into the key components. And then next, you're going to go right into career highlights. Your career highlights should be just three to four bullets that are going to give a little bit of a story, a situation, an action, a result. Not going too deeply into the results, we'll get more into that, but they're going to be the, the biggest, broader accomplishments that you want to highlight from your career. Again, if this was the only part that they read, the profile and the highlights, would it give somebody enough to entice them, to connect you to the role, to show your value proposition and hold their attention, bringing you into the next section, which is the professional experience. As you're going through your professional experience, start off always with the most recent role that you're currently in. And then for that role, highlight the three to four things that were your biggest deliverables in those roles. You never are focusing here on tasks. You're focusing in on the deliverables, the things that you were able to bring forward, the things that distinguished you. Again, your stories. So those things that are going to highlight you in the best way and ultimately connect back to the role that you're going after. Next, you're putting in your education. What have you achieved in that academic frontier? Okay. Lastly, in, in, the, in the last section, you're going to add in the peripheral components. Peripheral components might be that you've been on a board, that you've done volunteer work that was substantial. And again, you want to talk about the outcomes with being on the board, not just that you're there, that you're, you're taking up a seat. But what did you do? What did you bring forward? What initiatives did you launch? Okay, you might also hear talk about designations and certifications. If those things are super pertinent to what you're going after. So that's step one, to have a structure that is a winning professional structure. The second step is going to be to use your resume as a strategic interview tool. When you start off thinking about the end, like having the end in mind, your outcome is always going to be better. So start off from the beginning, thinking about how you're going to be able to use that resume to get you in the door. But then also when you're sitting there in the interview, you have a blueprint in your resume. If you've written it in this way, highlighting all of your best moments, 
And every single one of the stories that you put on your resume, it should be something that you want to be asked about. It should be a story that you want to dive deeper into. Because oftentimes, a recruiter, a hiring manager, is gonna ask a simple question like, what do I need to know from your resume? And they'll give you an open door to talk about your best moments. Oftentimes as well, before they step into that interview, that's the one document that they've looked at, and they're gonna be highlighting things that they have further questions on. So their questions are gonna dive deeper into the stories that you've put the bait out there for, the things that you want to dive deeper into. Okay, so use that resume as a tool. And it's also a tool that you can always have in front of you. It will never look weird for you to step into an interview and have a copy of your resume that you've got right there in front of you. So then as those questions are coming, you can say, you know what, I'd like to tell you about this story. I'd like to tell you about this one. It's very easy, it's a great, it's like a cheat sheet to trigger your mind back into those stories that you want to elaborate on. And they're all your best moments. If this is resonating with you, be sure to hit that like button and also comment below. Answer this question, perhaps. What has been the most difficult part of your job search so far? Has it been staring at a blank page when you're trying to rewrite your resume? Comment below and let us know these things. Now, just a reminder, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of this video because at the end, I'm gonna give you the link to be able to grab your own professional resume template. Step number three is going to be to have measurable and tangible results on your resume. If we look back at that same study I was talking about earlier, 125,000 resumes that were reviewed, only 26% of those resumes had five or more measurable, tangible results. Figures, numbers, impact. Each of your bullets should have a result. As you're going through your professional history, it should end in what was the impact, what was the result, what was the outcome. Now, not every single one of those is gonna be a number. Sometimes it might be an impact to people's lives, it might be an impact to culture, but if you can get to a number, numbers are boom, they are oomph, they are power, they are proof, and it jumps out, especially when you're going after those six-figure, seven-figure roles. You've got to get to the impact to the organization. What did you do? Okay, and keep that in mind. The interview process is, is not, a, it's not about what we accomplished, Yes, it is about what we accomplished, but it's about what you did to impact that. It's about your role. So try not to stay in the weeds of the we and really get to the point with what you did to impact the organization. The fourth thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that what you've got there is aligned to the role. I, 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 hate, I hate saying this, I hate going into this because I think that ATS systems, applicant tracking systems, are the stupidest tools, the dumbest pieces of software that we've created in, in the business. They can't read things like headers, they, can't, they get stuck on tables, like you have to have a super simple resume, straightforward, which by the, by the way, the template that I'll provide to you is ATS friendly. The reason why I hate to talk about this is because I want you to get to people. I want you to get to leaders who are making decisions. I want you to be talking to a COO who has a problem and a P&L, and you can say, I perceive that you've got these issues. I've got and have brought these solutions. And when those two things match up, issues, problems with solutions, that's when roles get created for you. Okay, so although we're talking about resumes here, a resume is just a tool that you have to have. And sometimes you've got to get by applicant tracking systems to get to a, a live human. Well, when you have to do that, those stupid systems are going to be looking at keywords in the document, the job description, and then comparing them for match, saying, how many of the keywords does it have? There's 40 in here. Does it have 20? Okay, that's a 50% match. And it's annoying. But when you are going after a job and you don't have the person that you can give the resume to and you've got to put it in that applicant tracking system, well, then you've got to beat the system. You've got to get by it to get to the humans and do the real work. Okay, so you can, you can hear my cynicism or, or my frustration about that because, hey, it's just how I feel. 15 years of HR and recruiting and, and that's how I feel. I want you to be talking to people, but match up and, and use tools like JobScan Okay, so you can go to job scan and you can put in the job description and then you can put in the text from your document and it'll tell you what the match is. Okay, you can use tools like a word cloud. 
to grab the job description, paste it in a word cloud tool. You can use free ones online. And then it'll say, okay, here's a word cloud and it'll show you in larger letters which words are standing out as the keywords then use those in your document. So align to the role that you're going after when you've got to beat those stupid ATS systems. Next one, get rid of the fluff. Fluff and filler, it just doesn't help. Okay, so what is one of the best ways to get rid of the fluff? Take your document. I like to print it off, I'm a little old school. Print it off and look at that document. Read each sentence and ask yourself, does this sentence add value, is it aligned to the brand that I'm purposefully putting forward? Does it tell that person that I'm more right for the role? Each thing should be additive. Each thing should be adding more to the story that you are right for what you're going after. Each thing should be value add. Each thing should be where it can be measurable and tangible. So get to the facts, get to the deliveries, get rid of the fluff, get rid of the space fillers. Now, if you're struggling to write your resume and hey, you're on this video, you're figuring out the steps, you probably are. So I wanna help. I wanna give you a resource. Head over to www.jobhackersnetwork.com slash resume. And there you'll have the opportunity to put in your name and email and immediately get a Google Doc resume template that you can then save to your own computer and start editing in Word, and you will start off way ahead of the curb to be able to then knock out that document 30 minutes or an hour, and you will have a beautiful resume that is ready to rock. Again, go over to www.jobhackersnetwork.com slash resume. Put in your email and your name, and you will receive that document and you'll be ready to go. Now, after you've completed that resume and you're ready to go out there and hit the pavement, you're ready to get in front of those key hiring decision makers and have those amazing meetings, then head over to www.jobhackersnetwork.com. There, you'll be able to put your name and email address in to watch a 30-minute web class that is gonna walk you through three secrets that will enable you to get to the table consistently with hiring managers. And then while there, it'll give you the structure of an amazing meeting so that you can knock it out of the park. So that you can sell yourself effectively on paper via the resume template and then in person via the information that's provided to you in that web class. Okay, again, head over to www.jobhackersnetwork.com Put in your name and email address and you'll go right into watching that video web class so that you will be equipped to get there and kill it when you're there. Now be sure to watch some of these additional videos that you're gonna see on the screen right now so that you can further advance in your job search and then when you get into the role, being able to brand yourself effectively, network, move up in your career. That's what we talk about here on the channel. That's what the weekly videos that are released are all about. So also be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you're sent a notification each time that I release a new video. Be blessed in your job search, be blessed in your life. Thank you for allowing me to be a little part of it through this video. I look forward to talking to you in next week's video.